Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be doing a heart rate accuracy test of the Huawei Watch Fit 2 because I've had this thing on while doing an F45 workout. I'm sure you've all heard of F45. So this is a truly intense hit, high intensity interval training working out. So you basically get classes of anywhere between 10 and 30 people. And as a group, you go through grueling exercises for functional 45 minutes, hence the name F45. So there I was doing that workout in this watch. And the benchmark to the test was actually a Polar H10 ECG chest strap. So in this test, we'll be looking at the results from this watch and how it did against, well, basically the benchmark, not only for this test, but in the market as a whole. So without further ado, let's get into this heart rate accuracy test. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the test, let me tell you a little bit about this watch. So here you do get an AMOLED display, 1.74 inches, 336 PPI. That's right, 336, it's higher than what you get on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 but the price is actually twice as little. And yes, twice as little because this is only 130 pounds or around 150 bucks, considering the exchange rate for the Great British Pound is not exactly amazing these days. Now, with this watch, you get 97 sport modes. You get animated workouts. You get inbuilt GPS. It's five ATM water resistant. But on top of it all, it's got an inbuilt speaker it's got an inbuilt microphone. This is a monster of a smartwatch. But not only is it smart, well, if you've got a Huawei smartphone, as an example, you can actually use the Huawei AI Assistant. If you don't have a Huawei phone and you have any other Android device or iPhone, that's okay. You can get Bluetooth calling. What that means is that basically, once you're connected via Bluetooth with your smartphone and you've got the watch on, and let's say you're in a busy street, you're doing sport, whatever you're doing, but you don't wanna pull out your phone. Well, you literally speak into your wrist. You hear the other person on the line clearly, and the person on the other line can actually clear you, can actually hear you very clearly through the inbuilt speaker that you get on the watch. So really amazing stuff. Considering you also get inbuilt storage for your media files while you're exercising, you can actually listen to your music or podcasts, whatever it may be, right from your wrists. How awesome is this? Now, of course we know that is awesome, but the price is absolutely unbelievable. It's priced as a budget tracker, but there is no other budget track on the market that offers as much for as little. Anyways, I think we've said pretty much everything in a very short nutshell about this fantastic watch, but we want to see how accurate is it in real life? How accurate is it? Optical heart rate sensor on the back of this thing. Well, let's first take a look at our benchmark, the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. And what we can see there is that the average heart rate was measured at 144 beats per minute while the max was 173 beats per minute. So we can see that the whole workout lasted for about uh, just over 50 minutes, but for the first five or so, we were just warming up. And then we got into it, and you can see that, yep, the average of 144 beats per minute, it does mean that the workout keeps you pumping basically the whole way throughout the 45 minutes of the functional workout. Anyway, now let's take a look at what the watch has actually come up with. What did the optical heart rate sense on the back of this thing actually manage to show us? Let's take a look. And what we can see here is that, wowzers, really? 143 beats per minute for the average. That's just one below the mark that we've seen on the Polar. And then the max is 172 beats per minute. Also just one beat per minute off from the benchmark. Either way, the result is pretty much astounding. Now, we do know that even on this very budget hybrid tracker, we do call it hybrid because it's not quite a full-on sport watch. It's not the Huawei GT3 or the GT3 Pro, and it's not quite the basic Huawei Band 7. This is 
pretty much a hybrid. So it's halfway there, halfway there. Now, it does actually use an optical heart rate sensor that comes with the Huawei GT3, which is twice as expensive. So this watch actually gets true scene technology 5.0. That is another great thing about this watch. It's got the latest generation sensors on it, even though it is a more budget version of the Huawei smartwatch range. So what can we say? Well, it's definitely a punch in terms of features and functions, and it's definitely a great buy if you're looking for that heart rate accuracy. And you're more than just a casual, um, sports person you like to get out there you like to run you like to cycle you like to cover those distances and you like to get hot and sweaty because if you do this is what you need another thing if you do go out on those cycles on those uh, runs you don't actually have to carry your smartphone with you you get inbuilt storage you get inbuilt gps what else do you need for a hands-free exercise Anyway, thank you for watching this review and heart rate accuracy test of the Huawei Watch Fit 2. If you do want to see more of the comparisons, the tests, more reviews, please make sure to hit the red subscribe button below the video. And I'll see you in the next one.